my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make something I can eat. Yes, I can eat it. It's gonna be delicious, I hope. We're making a giant churro! Churro is a Mexican snack and or pastry dessert that is really delicious. Let's hope this goes well. <laughs> We're gonna start off by making a funnel to squeeze the churro out of. I'm gonna apply some tape to this cardboard, add some more duct tape right here to the top, and we're gonna cut out these little, you know, never mind, I give up on this. I don't think that's a good idea. I have a better idea. Let's just make the churro. So here's some butter, some water, and we're gonna slowly add some flour into this churro mixture. Just about one cup, and eventually you're gonna get this like doughy, not sticky concoction, surprisingly. It just does not stick to the wall, and it's great. And you're gonna do this like one time two times eight times six thousand times and then you're gonna fill this mixer bowl with and you're gonna get like 12 eggs okay I lied this is like 20 eggs and you're gonna get all these eggs and you're gonna mix them all together right mix these eggs together because you need to it's life and you're gonna put your mixer and start pouring these eggs into the mixer and then mix and mix the babies into the dough and mix more babies in to the dough chicken babies yeah okay now that it's all mixed and beautiful you can add a little bit of salt if you want and you're gonna get some parchment paper and saran wrap and just lay it out and just pour in your churro dough and just start to roll it like a giant churro burrito right and you want to just get this nice and get it ready for the freezer because you're gonna put it in there for a few hours with all the other little baby churros then you're gonna pull those out after they've been in the freezer and just look at that it's frozen and it has some marks from the freezer but if there is no marks you can use like a stick to actually make create these marks the churro stick marks I don't know if you've not ever seen a churro but you want to heat up your oil to about 370 degrees maybe a little bit hotter apparently then you want to dip in your frozen churro gently gently oh my gosh I almost got myself right there then you want to make your churro concoction on the outside which is sugar cinnamon and check on your churro again looks good you want to put in another churro and just it is so gigantic oh my goodness look at that now I'm starting to realize I should probably bake these because the inside is probably raw as heck because it is a giant churro and the dough inside there's no way so I'm gonna start to bake these but when I baked it they like exploded <laughs> so I'm like what the heck why did you explode oh man why are they so massive and explode and then I try to flip this one this one broke in half disappointing churro disappointing but it's okay we still got that one in the back right there that one looks okay I'm gonna try to deep fry it again double deep fry this churro come on make the white parts brown like me make it brown like marmar okay so now it's looking okay you know it's kind of getting a little twisted from the bowl but you know it's fine that's character oh my god this thing is so ugly oh this is the worst chair i've ever seen in my life oh okay, whatever you gotta love your babies you know okay so now we're gonna take our baby and just put it into the sugar and cinnamon and we're just gonna rub some sugar and cinnamon all over our baby here with my baby giant churro uh-huh uh-huh it's a ginormous churro and I'm so excited to put you in my mouth are you excited to be in my mouth miss baby churro oh uh, yeah yeah it's a yes so I'm, I'm excited to put it I'm just gonna rip off a piece right here okay here we go giant baby churro here we go mm, not bad mm. I just broke it. Oh gosh. <laughs> I broke it into like four pieces. Well, see, that's the awesome part about having a giant churro. Um, just try not to make it too big because then you might have to bake it and overcook it a lot like I did. <laughs> but you can like give it to your neighbor. Like, hey neighbor, here's a piece of my giant churro. And I mean, I couldn't get the lines on it, but I got the churro taste. It's cinnamony, it's sugary, it's delicious. Mm. This is a bank robbery. Put your hands up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, so then your churro could break, and then you you would get arrested. Here is my giant churro deconstructed, broken up into a million pieces after all that work. Ow, it was kind of hot still inside. Ouch. Okay, you hurt me, baby churro. I hate you. I hate you. I'm gonna mix you in. I'm gonna bury you in the sugar. If you guys get this video to 10 likes, I will make rainbow ice cream churro sandwiches and I won't fail because they'll be normal sized. I hope. Also make sure you subscribe because I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. You can hit the button below and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Peace.
wonder if I can color with it. Okay, let me see. Ready? Here we go. What is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are making something I cannot eat, but it's gonna be fun. I have some crayons. I want to see if I can make some crayon slime. Let's get it. You're gonna need a pot, some crayons, and then you're gonna take your favorite crayons, put your favorite crayons inside the pot. They're gonna melt like instantly look how fast that melted oh my goodness they're still melting if you want to just look at them they're gonna start molding together and forming like some weird color now 